Hi, it's Tom from Digital Foundry giving you a look at console visuals side by side in Fallout 4. You know the drill, we play PS4 and Xbox One versions at the same time using the exact same controller input to each console. This way we get the synchronized images you see on the left and right and in the case of Fallout 4 it's a bit of a song and dance to show two very similar games. In fact, outside of minor variances in time of day you might see, these two versions are practically identical. For example, the fade in distance for objects, characters and even shadows are within a split second of each other as we move forward here, within the margin of error. On the shadow front it's a match too, as you can see on the blanket of shade creeping across this street ahead. Now this state of parity applies to all level of detail settings across the game, whether the objects are big or small. But what happens when we get up close so we can see the nitty gritty? Well, around this initial sanctuary area, normal map quality for dirt, grass and stone are matched for resolution. And likewise, reflections on streams trickling through use the same shader effect between PS4 and Xbox One. It may not always look pretty and some assets really fall below the current gen standard when viewed at tight angles, but nevertheless it's present and correct for both consoles. Moving on to effects now and the quality is once again exactly the same. Just look at the plume of smoke as we fire this automatic gun with the same quality decals appearing on the wall. Moving in up close, we even see the same screen space ambient occlusion in play, with the telling shaded halo effect appearing around our gun. As it happens, this also matches PC on its best setting too. As for lighting precision, we're in deja vu territory when switching between left and right sides of the screen. Curiously, God Rays run at a lower resolution to the rest of the game, producing a dithering artifact. And this is true of both PS4 and Xbox One in play. To see this in effect, note the light shaft streaming in past geometry at the top here. There's a slight blurriness to the gaps in the roofing. It's essentially a dialed down version of the God Ray effect we see on PC, which appears much sharper on its ultra settings. Elsewhere, it's the same setup entirely, and the only major contrasts are in the occasional streaming blips here and there, where a texture might load faster on one console than the other. Even shadows are evenly handled between the two. PS4 and Xbox One produce a light-for-like -like softness on creeping shadow edges as the time of day moves forward. Looking close at character model faces too, we get the same shadow effect playing across their cheeks. Even though it's not the sharpest shadow setting, it still holds up and it's not a bad look at all. And of course, character faces use the same newly integrated skin shaders, making the most of the physically based lighting system in Bethesda's engine. So there you have it, not much to report but it's worth showing for posterity. The main differences between PS4 and Xbox One really comes down to their performance profiles. For visual comparisons in Fallout 4, the differences between console and PC on its ultra settings are more interesting overall. Here's an early example of a separate video we're working on, showing PS4 compared to PC.
Anyway, I hope this video answers some questions on the console front. If it did, let us know by liking or subscribing to our channel. We'll leave you with more footage, but until next time, thanks for watching.